Number 48, determine the molarity of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C. So in this case, they told us that we had 20.54 grams of aluminum nitrate, which is AlNO33, and that's in 1,575 milliliters of solution. We're looking for molarity. What is the formula for molarity? It is this guy, right? I'm just going to throw it over here. Molarity equals the moles of a solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply, it's capital M molarity equals moles divided by liters. So that's what I'm going to put down here. I'm going to say, okay, this is just capital M molarity is just the moles of the solute that we have divided by the liters that we have. Now let's see if we are going to solve for molarity, that means that I should know the moles of my solute. And this is just a quantity number and I should know my liters. Hmm. They didn't give me both of these, right? They gave me grams and they gave me mils, milliliters, right? So I have to do some conversions before I use this formula. It doesn't matter which conversion you, you do first, right? The first thing I'm going to do is let's just work from left to right, right? The first thing that we're going to do is take the 20.54 grams of aluminum nitrate and I need to convert to moles of aluminum nitrate, AlNO33, right? Because then I would have the mole value. The second thing that I have to do is I have to convert 1,575, 1,575 mils into liters. Then I would have the bottom. And then lastly, I would just do the actual formula. But now, how do we go from a gram to moles? of the same compound, right? How do we do that? Well, we could either do dimensional analysis like we've been doing, but we're not in that chapter anymore, right? So we can do some quick shorthand tricks. All that you have to do, here's the trick down here. If you're starting with grams of anything, and I labeled that as X, if you're starting with a gram of something and you want to get the mole of the same thing, right? All you have to do, we're going this way, you just have to take that gram value and divide it by the molecular weight of that substance. So I have my grams 20.54. And if I wanted to do just G, right, divided by the molecular weight, right? That would go on the bottom here. But the thing is, is that I, I don't have the molecular weight, right? They didn't tell me what the molecular weight was. So we have to find it. We have to find the molecular weight of AlNO3, three. How do we do that? Ah, the periodic table. You can find a molecular weight of any compound or element just looking on the periodic table. We've done tons of problems like that, right? So I'm just gonna go to my periodic table. I'm gonna calculate what one aluminum is. Now keep in mind that there's three nitrogens and three times three is nine oxygens. So let's just do a quick little uh, exercise here. I'll do it quick. And let's see if we get the same answer. I'm going to use the exact numbers that I find on my periodic table. You can round your numbers. Uh, we should get roughly the, roughly the same answer. So let's see. I have one aluminum. I have three nitrogens. And then I got, how many do we say? We had nine oxygens. So roughly my molecular weight is 213.1, oh, 0.01, and that's gram per mole. This number goes on the bottom, right? I'm taking my grams and I'm dividing by my molecular weight to get the moles. So this is the 213.01 gram per mole if I wanted to put the units in. And then just do the division and my answer would be the mole value. So 20.54 divided by the molecular weight. And I need four sig figs if we're gonna play the sig figs rules. So 0 0.09643. And that's now the moles of AlNO33. So we just found out the top, right? We now have the total number of moles. This is 
0.09643. Now I just have to convert mils to liters. Well, that's another trick. That's this guy's, right? If you're starting off with a milliliter and you want to go to the liter, all you got to do is just divide that number by a thousand. Or more simply, wherever the decimal is, you could move it three times to the left. Either way, you'll get the same answer. So if I just take this number, divide by a thousand, this would be the same as 1.575 liters. And now I have my liter value. There you go. And now all I have to do is just put the two together. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, ooh, didn't catch the, uh, the top there. I'm just going to move this over. And now we're ready to just do our math. Capital M molarity equals 0 0.09643 divided by the 1.575. Okay, let's see what we get. Molarity equals, let's see, 0 0.09643 divided by 1.575. I get roughly 0 0.06123. Now, units, I could either say this as a capital M, capital M is molarity, or since the units that we're using, moles over liter, doesn't cancel, they're not the same, it would just be mole divided by liter. Either one of these is a molarity unit, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. But there you go. That's your answer, guys. This one was fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Hopefully this helped you out. If you want, click the subscribe button. Um, we're almost at 10,000 crazy. Um, and thank you so much for that. You guys have been awesome. This whole journey, uh, let's keep learning and yeah, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.